वेलकम बैक टू अर्पिता शर्मा क्लासेस एज यू ऑल नो आई बीन टीचिंग यू ऑल सिंस 2017 नॉट स्पेसिफिकली रिलेटेड टू यू पी एस सी नॉट स्पेसिफिकली रिलेटेड टू एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम बट आई हैव ऑलवेज इम्पॉर्टेड द काइंड ऑफ टीचिंग दैट रिलेट्स टू मोर टू योर मेंटल हेल्थ टू योर स्टेबिलिटी ड्यूरिंग दिस एग्जाम द फोकस दैट यू रिक्वायर टू गो थ्रू दिस एग्जाम पैटर्न टू गो थ्रू दिस इंटायर जर्नी and we all know ki competitive exams are mentally challenging not just physically mentally they are challenging and that is why i started this channel uh, since 2022 i was going through a lot of things on a personal front myself i was also preparing for competitive exams i gave few banking exams rbi related exams and like some of you i also could not make it to the final list that is when i came across a person a mentor much like an elder brother to me who you can all see on the screen it's nikhil bhaiya nikhil kriplani sai ram bhaiya welcome Sir. to this channel thank and you thank you so me. much for taking out time no, uh, to address me to address honor. so many students thank you it's my privilege thank you for uh, having me so nikhil kriplani bhaiya basically runs a youtube channel of his own which is sai baba's devotee speaks and through that channel i got to know about a uh, like so many different life lessons which helped me sail through my own emotional mess i started watching his channel since 2020 it was the time when i was uh, starting uh, to lose uh, you can say my poise my sense of peace i lost so many people in my life not just physically but emotionally mentally there were times i myself went through betrayals like many of you students who mail me on an everyday basis i also went through a personal loss i lost my dad in 2022 and it was just his channel that helped me sail through all of this turmoil that is the only reason why i thought ki whenever i'm going to start a podcast on this channel i'm going to bring the first guest would be nikhil kriplani mm. he has been my elder brother since 2020 and i must say after this podcast after you listen to this podcast 99% of your life problems are going to end that's my guarantee because i experienced it personally he is not just my elder brother he is going to be your elder brother as well and i hope ki i i keep continuing do, doing these talks and podcast with him in times to come a well warm welcome a very hearty welcome to you nikhil bhaiya thank you so much for joining us today thank you so much well i am his servant and it's all his grace so all of it goes to baba i'm actually nobody but thank you so much for having me on your channel and uh, namaste to everybody oh uh, bhaiya there are so many questions that i get to hear from students on a daily basis so mm-hmm. abhi recently there was this upsc prelims examination that was conducted in may 28th may hmm. and the the exam this time changed its pattern the type hmm. of questions the type of options everything changed all of a sudden hmm. and it was chaotic because the hmm. pattern when it changes it uh, takes a toll on the mental health of a student who are preparing since last 2 years 3 years 4 years hmm. and many students could not clear it there were some hardly hardly around 14000 students out of 3 to 5 lakh who cleared actually cleared mm-hmm. this exam this time that's a great number 5 mm-hmm. lakh students sitting for an exam preparing for it since the last 4 5 years and mm-hmm. only 14000 making it through the final list so there were so many mails that i received some said ki this was our last attempt this was our only hope we were so attached to the result we've been preparing for it since last 3 4 years 7 years 8 years and uh, hearing all those mails i got little confused i also got emotional because i was once in this journey i wanted someone who can help us sail through this emotional period right now so i have list of questions for you mm. from the side of students and some questions are personally from me sure. so if you allow me can i shoot yeah. those questions towards you sure don't don't shoot them uh, ask them <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I would like to draw a parallel here. Uh, see, the, for example, let's take a, a parallel with the immigration process. 
you know, there are many people who try, say, to get a visa, to go to Canada, to go to USA, go to many places. And sometimes that doesn't happen. Like now, for example, COVID happened, the whole system changed, they were not accepting. So you see, largely, a lot of such events are beyond our control. But what can actually bring us peace is that understanding and acceptance that we don't identify with the outcome. So by all means, we try our best with everything in life, be it study, and life will put us in different situations and circumstances. But to have that attitude and understanding will give us that peace. So you will do your best, you will try, you may even persevere and try again. But as a result, you will not take it personally and say, I failed, maybe something was wrong with me, or feel like a victim that the system failed us. Or, you know, life is so bad, whatever be it. You take it in its stride with the full understanding that we will always do our best in whatever in life, but the outcome is not in our hands. That is our destiny. So in response, you know, to such events with that attitude, it will become a propelling force to go forward. For example, say if you have had a setback, let's call it a setback, but it has also taught you and given you many values. It has changed your character, which you will see in time. So one should not look at it as, oh, I spent so much time, so much money, so much effort, and I'm left with nothing. So by all means, we try. But then this, with this outlook, it becomes a force to propel you forward. It gives you much more depth and you don't look at it negatively. But, Bhaiya, the doubt is, matlab, I have a small hmm. doubt in this hmm. uh, piece of advice. At the time of result, to hmm. hear this, it's calming. But hmm. when we are actually in the process, when we are daily getting ourselves up from the bed, then again, hmm. the same uh, boring life cycle chalta hai ki we have to open our books, study, give test, then again, we have to go to sleep. Matlab, in this process, there comes a time when we lose our initial motive, why we started. Hmm. And we also lose the uh, you know grip on the fact that this is not in our hands. Hmm. We, because of expectations from the society or from our own parents, forget about the society, hmm. from our own hmm. parents uh, hmm. and our siblings, we get, because of those expectations, some, hmm. sometimes our parents also guilt, uh, gives us the guilt trip. Hmm. Hmm. Aise kuch cases mein. Hmm. Hmm. We sense the meaning that we don't have to be result-oriented. Things are out of our control. So how do we take it back to our teachings? How do we explain ourselves that some things are not in our control? Hard work is in our control. Hmm. Because again and again, we forget the expectations are so much more than we start to think again that result aana hai. we have hmm. to do good we have to make our parents proud to kaise apne aap ko grounded us situation mein teaching ke sath rakha jaye what actually happens is sometimes we get so narrowed into the small picture that we forget the big picture hmm. so you know yes. writing down your goals taking some time to pause hmm. and reflect every week that what is my weekly goal, my monthly goal, or I mean, it might sound very simplistic, but just to take an hour mm -hmm. a week, I would say, maybe 10 minutes a day also might be a luxury for many people, because I know how difficult these competitive exams, even medicinal, whichever, they're very hard. So you see what happens is when you start journaling, and you start reflecting mm -hmm. this way, See, you're bound to have ups and downs in anything. Say if you were a sports person in training, sometimes you may fall ill, you'll feel, oh, now my stamina is gone. You know, so setbacks will come. But equally with hard work is, you know, your, your vision in the bigger picture and the ability to persevere. See, Sai Baba always said saburi. Saburi doesn't mean patience mm -hmm. only, it also means perseverance. So you keep trying, keep trying. You have to get up. Like see, when a child falls down, the mother will also sometimes let it fall. I'm talking of a toddler. Eventually it grows, but you know, 
you get up, you get up and you keep walking. So as long as you have that attitude, and you know, that's what, like your channel is very important because it becomes a source of inspiration and support because there are times you're bound to feel low, burnt out, tired, you know, on your personal note in other areas of your life, like say someone has a relationship that has gone, you know, sour that would affect their studies. So, you know, here, the support of your friends, support of satsang, like with you in in this field, I would say they are coming to your channel or other channels for inspiration, talking to each other. These things pull you up. So I would encourage that. But I would say the word perseverance is key, regardless of the outcome to persevere. Like once you are sure, yes, I would like to do it. And obviously, it's a very big decision, even when you take up this course. It's a very big commitment for a long period of time. So I would assume you know what you're getting into. So then to gear yourself Mm -hmm. up mentally for that, that there will be times, you know, which are low, but then you don't get stuck there. You know, these things hopefully help out. Yes, Vaya. Perseverance is the key. Hmm. So we there are so many times that we hear this statement, listen to this statement. Hmm. But very few times we actually sit and understand the meaning of this statement. Hmm. Uh, also, there is the statement that I read somewhere, trust the process. Can you elaborate on the meaning of this statement, trust the process? I would change that statement if you give me permission to trust life. Yes, Priya. See, hmm. let's take an example of a competitive exam. Like I'm assuming your audience uh, in your age group, they are either in the beginning of the course or towards the end where you're giving your exams. Let's go hmm. one hurdle before, which you've already crossed, say, your graduation or your post-graduation. There was a lot of anxiety hmm. there. There was a lot of hard work there. There was a lot of perseverance there. And in some cases, the outcome did not match your expectation. But life took care Mm. of you and placed you where you need to be. Say, some might have thought I will do medicine. Some might have said I'll do engineering. Some would have wanted to do something else. And you know, that anxiety, what will happen? What will happen? Will I clear? I, I can understand that. But at the end of it, The fact that you're hearing this podcast now at the next sort of hurdle or landmark, let's say. But that is life. That process, it will take you forward. So trust in that, you know. So just basically trust that it will fall into place. But that should not be confused for I will not do anything. You do your best, Mm. you know, because see, at Mm. the end of it, this is a very important point. When you look back, whether the exam was cleared or not cleared, that outcome is not in your hand. But you would feel bad if you look back and say, I didn't do my best. I could have done better. But if you know you've done Mm -hmm. your best according to your capacity, see, even people are different. Mm -hmm. Some people have a very strong intellect. Some people are more creative. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's built differently. Mm -hmm. So within Mm -hmm. how you're made up, within your capacity, you know, if you know you've done your best, then you will never look back with regret. So do your best. That's Mm. like the mantra. But I would say trust, Mm. you know, look back at what you've already achieved in your life. Hmm. True. Because when I look back, Bhaiya, I was in this process of preparing for competitive exams. Hmm. I myself started my journey after college uh, by entering into chartered accountancy. I was Hmm. studying for CA exams Hmm. because my father and everyone in my family is a CA. Hmm. So my natural inclination was towards being a CA. I never thought that one day I would be an educator. I never thought one day I would be talking to you using technology because I had no idea how to use all this setup. So when I look back, Abhi, right now, when you are saying this, all of, uh, you know, you're giving this wonderful advice. When I look back, I can also feel the peace uh, in knowing that I have done something which is very creative. No one in my family has ever done this. No one in my family has ever used technology to share so much. And I feel a little uh, 
a piece of calm actually ki i have done something different on my own and from now on, now onwards i'm not going to beat myself up that i was not able to clear this exam right. or i was not able to do my ca i'm not going to beat myself up hmm. when i look back i've done something which was very different unique and creative and i'm kind of little proud of it so you see that Thank happens you so much, through Mira. you you see so like you hmm. everyone watching also when they look back see hmm. to even have reached here the only difference is mm. you may have lesser anxiety the effort is the same mm. because often mm. we beat ourselves up i should have done more am i doing enough so you see that mental mm. anguish would reduce and what the mm. best part of it is when you are more calm you don't have all your energy being dissipated then you can work with more mm. focus and it's used in a you know in a concrete direction so that energy which was otherwise in your head going in circles will now be used to propel mm. you forward mm, true true mm. um also bhai i wanted to know ki mm. there are people who have actually cleared this exam they are mm. to mm. Be, at, as we speak right now they mm. are working as an ias officer mm. and still when i talk to them they tell me we are not happy mm. we wanted to be ifs we wanted to be one position up than what we have received we are not happy at this level so i try time and again i share this with my students ki even those who have cleared this exam are not happy hmm. there are few people so you are beating yourself up because you could not clear it those who have cleared it hmm. still they are not happy so happiness should not be equated with clearing an exam or any position absolutely so would you like to elaborate on this aspect that's very well said and you see that's actually the rat race most of mankind is stuck in the assumption that more mm. is better you see that if this mm. happens then i will be happy then but see most likely when you reach there it's the next thing so it's something mm. which we need to ponder even in the smallest things of our life not just exams like you see that's what mm. patience also means like when you just sit and observe even in the smaller things in life that you know when we have this thing of an outcome that when this happens like when i order something and i get that object or whatever it may be and you truly observe that effect may st- last for a very short amount of time now that brings me to my next point that see one other thing especially with i assume you know when you're going into service uh like the ias ips and if you get through these exams you are also taking on a role of a servant where you take on hmm. social responsibility right now obviously today hmm. Hmm. it's not looked in that light but you know to have that humility hmm. in life to realize that life is giving you responsibility so Hmm. that is then not dependent on an exam you do your best but when you begin to look at this whole study and see because otherwise what typically happens is you will say hey i am studying i have to give the exam i crack it i get a position it's all about you now it shifts hmm. it shifts from you to what are you here for hmm ultimately after clearing this exam the bigger purpose is you come into a position of responsibility and service so mm. when you begin to look at it through that light even if say this exam were not to be cleared now whether you want to reapply and do it again or you don't is something mm. which is a personal choice but you see mm. the way your character would develop the way you would have an mm. outlook to life your attitude would change completely because believe me there may be many students who worked very hard who might have cleared the exam but maybe say a week before some event happened in the family which they could not give the exam for example mm. but that does mm. not discredit them or you know so it's it was not meant to happen but that whole process of study the perseverance the hard work has also transformed them in some way and if you begin mm. to have an outlook like that that how may i serve 
you know what can i do what can life do through me and you ponder mm-hmm. on that it will not only change your outlook but then everything becomes an opportunity see because in today's world even if you don't become an ips i say now through mediums like this if you mm-hmm. provide value to society with the mm-hmm. with a genuine thing of at heart for improving you know where you take on some responsibility because see ultimately it's service we should not forget mm-hmm. the bigger picture we are all here to mm-hmm. serve so great responsibility so, comes up in today's mm-hmm. world there's no excuse then so in truth there's no failure it is merely mm-hmm. you know really looking at the bigger picture and becoming an instrument hmm becoming an instrument that's that's true because in uh, today's time this youtube shorts culture where we see officers mm-hmm. coming out of the cars and mm-hmm. this background music everything mm-hmm. on instagram there are reels mm-hmm. i have seen myself mm-hmm. an officer mm. coming out of a car or jumping out of a jeep and mm. there are so many people to receive mm. him or her and there are students who are preparing freshly out of college they are 21 yeah. 22 those students they get impacted by these reels and shots correct they forget about the purpose that this position is going to serve exactly. the value of service they think more about how they are going to be looked at in the society once they clear this exam mm. and that is what's uh, paralyzing their brain from growing i suppose so becoming see, an instrument hmm. Hmm. yes bhaiya you see your motive with everything hmm. in life is the most hmm. important because see hmm. that is a very shallow motive to go there just for fame or position because hmm. see i have i probably should not say this but i will i have seen certain ias officers go on their rounds with their subordinates mm. and on youtube give them a dose now mm. see while it may look very flashy i would just reflect if i were an ias officer correcting my subordinates in a derogatory way not in a nice polite way mm. that subordinate so called subordinate may also have family and children what mm. if that video is watched by those children and it goes into mm. the schools so you see mm. our world is very different and with position also comes responsibility mm. so if our motivation is good we really are here to serve whether i'm um, obviously we want to crack the exam but mm. if that say does not happen one should not get you may feel sad for some time that is natural but it should not be that it's the end of the world if you are here with the right attitude and outlook and here to serve truly to serve believe me trust in this that life will give you many opportunities you see mm-hmm. there is that saying it's the tree that is bent down that be- the ones that bear fruit or the ones that bend down mm-hmm. because of the weight of the fruit mm-hmm. or if you even mm-hmm. see the example of a mountain the water will trickle down mm-hmm. so only when there's mm-hmm. humility and you bend will life give these opportunities but you have to trust mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. this is beautiful i myself was thinking ki i should reappear for this exam but mm-hmm. now i remember ki my motive was not aligned to what i really wished to do in life mm-hmm. the foundation has to be strong the real crux of this statement is the foundation has to be strong a little bent of humility i am not saying you have to be a doormat a little mm. bent of humility has to be there mm. only then you become the instrument of the cosmos of the divine and only then the opportunities will align themselves in your life that's Absolutely. true trust in also that. i wanted to know bhaiya ki mm. there are people who have achieved good things in life i have mm. these people around me some of them are entrepreneurs some of them are ias officers hmm. but then uh, they are happy with their position they have no complaints they do not crave but then hmm. i don't uh, find that happiness on their face whenever hmm. try to sit down and talk to them hmm. there is only this one statement that comes out of them ki we don't hmm. know our purpose hmm. we don't know that we are doing this job because we have to survive feed our family hmm. thus hmm. we have worked hard in the past that is why we have this opportunity but we don't know what our purpose is 
इवन वेन आई टेल दैम कि मे बी योर पर्पज इज टू सर्व द सोसाइटी दे आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद दैट आंसर मे बी कुछ स्पिरिचुअली दे आर लैकिंग समवेयर मटीरियली दे हैव रिसीव्ड एवरी थिंग but that sense of purpose i don't understand what that question is when they ask this question i don't understand the meaning i try to explain to them but maybe meri soch limited hai thodi i wanted to know what exactly we mean when we say ki what's our purpose in life you see i think you come at crossroads at one point and this may happen to different people in different ways and at different times mm. when you achieve mm. materialistic so called success as per how society would label it successful and then you realize that inner peace is not yet found okay so mm-hmm. then the question does arise in different ways that you know why am i here you know what is the purpose of all of this what is my purpose what is true meaning you know so it is a process and it does happen so you know i would encourage it actually i would encourage that process Okay, so the question that haunts us day and night at some point mm-hmm. of time: What's our mm-hmm. purpose? Why are we here? So that is quite a, a quest, ki- kind of a quest that we personally, individually, should go on to mm-hmm. seek the answer: wh- Why are we here? So that that's a kind of spiritual quest, I guess. See, you can't have an intellectual answer to this. The fact mm-hmm. that the question arises. shows that something inside is missing and it's a good thing because it is a pivotal point right then your attitude becomes that of service then this question will not arise because see what happens is then whatever you do even if you're at whatever mm-hmm. position you're at in life whatever responsibility you know you have to impart that is your karmic duty but you see mm-hmm. it all comes back to the earlier part of the discussion that our motive and if we truly have that feeling of service arise because see ultimately these roles are big responsibilities but it is that of service it is mm. you know that's why they say government servant not in a bad mm. way it's a big mm. responsibility towards society so mm. if that is truly there then they say your work becomes worship true mm. hmm right you are a shining example of that it's his grace but mm. again see there is no one answer to this it is a process mm. and each person's journey circumstances are different so mm. usually this will arise when you do reach like a little platform and then you know you'll reflect and you'll look inside and this is a part of your journey it is going to happen mm. i would encourage it the sense of service bhaiya um you talked about it very beautifully because uh, you gave another angle to this preparation mm. uh, and this it, this is going to be a boost to the mo- motivation and the morale of the students who are preparing mm. for the next level or who are again trying to reappear for this exam mm. another point is ki uh, not everyone 90% of the students who are preparing they might be going through something in their personal life correct uh, for example when i look at my own self i was also you know everything in detail ki i was also going through some my personal issues and while preparing for this exam while doing my job hmm. so at that time when i used to hear you or gautam ji on your channel hmm. i used to think about serving how hmm. can i serve these people around me i may be getting emotional stress from them but how hmm. in a better way i can serve them so that they also fine tune hmm. their thinking and that is the only reason this purpose of service that sailed me through that experience that i was in personally hmm. ki negativity was being thrown at me but then how do you look at it hmm. your per- perception of that negativity your perspective in life it shifted from blaming myself from victimizing myself towards serving the other people hmm. and that's when the major shift in my life happened 2020 to 2022 uh, hmm. i was mentally very well aware about my own self about my responsibilities i was mentally stable very calm at peace thanks to you and gautam ji again and again every time i uh, express my gratitude because that really helped me mm. so even you are doing service of some kind that is making an impact in my life and other people like me there mm. are so many people who are watching you on a daily basis and hearing gautam ji recently i heard about that maya wala podcast mm. 
of you mm-hmm. and Gautam Ji that really opened my eyes to many things. I would suggest everyone to go watch that podcast. I'll, uh, mm-hmm. you know, attach a link in the description box. It is really going to open your eyes uh, because we are stuck in this uh, matrix kind of thing wherein we have lost a sense of purpose. We are guided by other people. We are guided by their expectations, but we have forgotten that. why we started this journey the journey started with a sense of service only we wanted to do good things in society that is why we prepared for this exam that was our initial motivation later on with times hota kya hai ki social media and this and that it changes our uh, thinking our perception outlook towards the exam and that is the only reason why anxiety attachment comes hmm. another important aspect i wanted to shed light on was uh, bhaiya ki attachment comes in many forms it can be attachment towards our parents expectations towards mm. our partners who are there with us in the journey but they also have their own expectations from us so we are attached to that attachment to sometimes our own vulnerabilities mm. uh, sometimes our own weaknesses we get so attached ki we think we start we start to victimize ourselves attachment itna bada ho jata hai ki fir humko lagta hai why me mere sath hi aisa kyun ho raha hai I wanted an answer a very easy answer from you or explanation from your advice towards the other to the other people who are listening to you right now ki how to break away from this attachment dheere dheere so that we can be more fine tuned and uh, focused in anything that we do in life not just this exam You see when you go through it's a big commitment of time it's mm-hmm. a big commitment mm-hmm. uh, even on the ones that support you you know so Mm-hmm. it you know it's like when you're in a high pressure or tension environment mm-hmm. sometimes you know things snap sometimes these things happen so you know i would say the first thing is be kind you know there are times when your loved ones may not understand you know that's what you feel but mm-hmm. regardless even if mm-hmm. whatever at least on your part try and be kind and i would say if you can develop the practice slowly of just witnessing mm-hmm. like say for example you know some families put pressure that you have to crack it and get like 99.9% some families mm-hmm. say hey you're wasting your time you should have got into the family mm-hmm. business why do you want to study you see everyone's situation mm-hmm. families are different some persons mm. partners not supportive at all someone has children whatever mm. be the situation mm. but the practice of witnessing will help because what might otherwise automatically happen is you get pulled into it and you react mm. a situation is presented to you and then you know it's like you know that pow wow from both sides it's going on but here if you can just begin to develop this practice of witnessing it at least that aspect of its propagation may stop you know so be mm-hmm. kind hear them out see where they come from mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. it is not easy i i i can understand like I, i it's very difficult for me to specifically say something because everyone's situation here is different mm-hmm. but in general when it comes to expectations you know of society and peers another thing i would like to say is see what happens is we have a very narrow vision we are in our community of students we go to university we are talking to similar people you know when mm. we study we are st- studying the same thing so having a few close friends you know through this journey uh, who i would say where it's a bit diverse could also help because mm. sometimes you may just need to talk about something that is maybe once mm. a week with someone very close to you and a lot of your mm. anxiety and stress may dissipate but it may be somebody outside of you know someone studying with you because you know mm. that diversity mm. that perspective they may be able to reflect mm. so i mm. would say you know sometimes just taking a pause you know having a little bit of you know good association outside and by all means the simple practice of witnessing because it's not easy i would say sometimes you know you get reactive or that thing arises from inside mm-hmm. but these pointers mm-hmm. would help hmm understanding where the other person is coming from yeah so like for example that, that suppose you have mm-hmm. a thousand people on your channel who have mm-hmm. 
pressure from their peers or social mm-hmm. expectation or they are mm-hmm. going to be judged whether you make it or no our whole family thing depends on this for example mm-hmm. another birds but now when they come to your channel or go somewhere whatever fulfills that need for them and they get that little bit of support see this is also let me put it this way it is a challenge in life in general and specifically with your study i would say if you draw like a pie chart one aspect is this the people around you in the relationships and situations is a challenge so in some people's cases it may not be a big problem but in some it may be you know some may have mm-hmm. financial constraints some you know so but as long as you see it from that light and get a bit mm-hmm. of support you know we all need support sometimes that support will help mm-hmm. because these things tend to build up otherwise so if you're not getting that support from here and you know also unfortunately with the way the world has become you know with uh, everyone's in their own worlds very individualistic uh mm-hmm. you know just a friend chatting with you you know when mm-hmm. that's not there then one goes into a shell then you go further into the shell so mm-hmm. if you need to speak up you know speak to a friend mm-hmm. reach out to someone and that will definitely help that's true because in 2020 it was you for me mm-hmm. i reached out to you and mm-hmm. it was very kind of you and very shocking for me that there was someone who didn't know who i was and still was mm-hmm. ready to hear me out mm-hmm. so we have matlab it was destiny for me that mm-hmm. i went mm-hmm. through your channel because mm-hmm. i've told you this a lot of times ki it, mm-hmm. it i was not even searching uh, mm-hmm. about these spiritual videos or whatever but your channel mm-hmm. the, your the videos on your channel they came up matlab mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. were hogging my feed and i was mm. trying to ignore it and mm. then i had to click on that video wherein hey mama was in uh, you were into being a uh, hey mama mm. i guess and mm. i at first i was like because i was not into all of this i was not into the uh, faith aspect spiritual aspect mm. service aspect i was more of a materialistic person back mm. then i admitted mm. but then i again shunned up i again mm. said ki this is not going to help me but the next day i was motivated to again enter your channel open mm. the videos up go through mm. them uh, mm. ramesh sir's teaching gautam ji is mm. teaching raman maharishi ji is teaching and mm. there was sir gadatta maharaj i came to know about him through you their mm. teachings completely changed me i mm. had no friend back then i had lost my friends i i was betrayed by some of them mm. but the teachings were mm. my friends mm. they were they became my friends i will admit it most hmm. of the students who are listening to me they might not understand hmm. what i am talking hmm. about but if they once start reading about nisarga datta maharaj they would relate to me the teachings became my friend hmm. and so my next question to you nikhil bhai is ki how can students be propelled to move further towards these teachings how can we share these teachings bring them up to these students because teachings are your first friends this is my faith this is my belief you've said a very important and very deep thing and that's absolutely true but you see there are two factors here one is when someone has suffered enough like see in mm. your case you had suffered mm. right you had really mm. suffered and come to a point where you want, like that change then happened mm. so this will appeal to someone who has gone through that process and they are fed mm. up of suffering Hmm. then they will be drawn to these things hmm. see there is no judgment someone who's not hmm. suffered it's not necessary they have to suffer but usually you know it is after you go through these losses you are hmm. drawn to these things hmm. so i would say if someone is interested and you know they they would like to uh, see for example there is a very nice book i can recommend uh, which hmm. is called sai gyaneshwari uh mm. we have this listed on the house of sai website it's in short all the teachings of baba on karma destiny these questions you've asked why am i here what is the purpose of life all of baba's teachings but you know if you spend time and i would say spend time with one teaching spend time with mm. it don't jump with too many and mm. then you know they do it takes its own course that you imbibe it and over time you will see the fragrance of that teaching you will emanate yourself 
but i would mm-hmm. say stick to one path and one teaching and different mm-hmm. people may be drawn to different things so mm-hmm. if it is say meditation for somebody for somebody mm-hmm. it could be service whatever it is mm-hmm. but i would i agree with you and you said a very deep thing that these are your true friends satsang is your true friend because also what happens is when you go through challenges and you see human nature you see certain events you know these losses while they may cause pain at the time eventually it is these become openings these becoming mm-hmm. these become openings for something mm-hmm. much deeper you know to flower mm-hmm. absolutely true this is beautiful these i used to think these are wounds hmm. this the pain is kind of wound that is never going to heal but hmm. ultimately these were openings through which teachings of these eminent saints they entered yes. finally purified some aspect of my thinking hmm. i feel it uh, i cannot express it but it might get expressed through these podcasts because this hmm. podcast would never have happened if i hmm. haven't gone through hmm. these pains and these sufferings hota hi nahi main sochti hi nahi in cheezon ke bare mein because i was not this kind of person hmm. i completely changed hmm. even people around me can they come up to me and tell me ki you were not like this back in 2015 or hmm. 16 or even 17 but 2020 was the year that completely changed my shifting uh, my perception about things and another important aspect is ki uh, suffering basically maybe Uh, you were getting too comfortable in your in in something which is not meant to be hmm. uh, this is the way how i look at this situation ki maybe jo cheeze mere paas thi i was not meant to stay with them i hmm. did not deserve them isiliye that is the only reason why they were taken away and when something is taken away at first har bachcha rota hi hai ki why it happened to me why me बट देन मे बी बिगर पिक्चर देखना हम सबको स्टार्ट करना होगा बिकॉज ये नैरो डाउन अप्रोच सबका हो गया है एवरी बडी इज थिंकिंग अबाउट दैन सेल्स इवन इन अ रिलेशनशिप वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट हाउ आई कैन फील लव हाउ आई कैन फील हैप्पी एंड सेटिस्फाइड एंड गुड बिकॉज आई हैव टू टेक पोस्ट इट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम मतलब हाउ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट माई सेल्फ एंड माई लाइफ इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पब्लिक सो दैट हैज टू स्टॉप दैट हैज टू स्टॉप स्टॉप बाय इट सेल्फ when hmm. you begin to see it someone hmm. into it and who's enjoying it at that time like we are not hmm. it's we are not judging anybody but hmm. usually these things happen when something has struck you something painful hmm. but again hmm. if you see it as an opportunity to awaken you know because hmm. these voids so to speak are openings so hmm. i would say yeah spend a bit of time reflecting a bit of time in nature in silence maybe take up a small practice whichever appeals to you and as you said very beautifully earlier that the teachings are your true friend so mm. if you spend time with them you will mm. imbibe it and that fragrance of the teaching will emanate in time mm. great All, almost all my questions are over. मतलब I had bunch of other questions, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. everything has been answered. Now there is nothing mm-hmm. that I can think of right now. Mm-hmm. So at the ending note, Nikhil Bhaiya, mm-hmm. I wanted to uh, because most of the students on this channel they have been knowing me since twenty seventeen. So mm-hmm. in this journey, they have been with me. मतलब mm-hmm. most of them they know कि ऊप superficially क्या क्या I have been through and because they can relate because they were also in the same process of this journey so hum sab same community ek hi community rahe hain aspirants ki and that is why we can relate to each other Correct. but i would uh, like you to give me one advice ek one point is give me one advice how should i navigate now further on and hmm. secondly because you have seen me since 2020 so i would want you to uh, just advise my students ki if i did it they can also do it if i went through it they can also go through it so just these two points i want you to elaborate on see in your case i've seen you through some very difficult times i i remember you've gone through some very difficult personal challenges and uh, you see that's the point i made earlier that we all have these sort of steps in life 
and mm. then when we look back you know those themselves give us strength so like mm. if you make a journal for example mm. so i would say when you look back in your life now we are talking only about you as an individual and you see you've gone through it and there you know like these times change it's not like the clouds are always there so now that's your mm. own experience right so tomorrow when you know you're going forward of course challenges will come you'll still have your ups and downs but what will happen it will not affect you so much when mm. good things happen you will not be elated and when things mm. are a bit challenging let me put it that way you mm. will not be that low you'll be more in the center mm. and see clearly mm. that change is visible since i know you since that time and to generally subscribers on your channel and you know the younger audience i would say i mean i'm nobody to give advice but i would say if you look at yourself you know with this opportunity of service and you know your motives and you can reflect why you are doing something uh, then you know a great force is awakened within you it's not just mm. me dependent on whether the exam is cleared or no or whatever because you are always on the receiving end of things otherwise subject to this happening mm. whatever now the mm. attitude is you know you're driven by something bigger than you right mm. so even if the exam is cleared or no something can happen your attitude will change so in general in life if one looks at it you know from the bigger picture of service and not so much about what is in for me then mm. uh, you know it is a potential for many wonderful things to happen mm. true the sense of iness we'll talk about yeah. this in our uh, next podcast and i'm hopeful that you will participate in that with me all uh, by his yes. will but yeah anything in yes. his service i would be very it is my privilege to be here and thank you so very much and i'm very happy to see how your community you know and you're getting people together because as i said mm-hmm. earlier in the podcast that sometimes you never know by just being that hearing aid to someone to you know be that shoulder you never know like they may not even need to study something but they are there for the support mm-hmm. they may support somebody mm-hmm. else you you never may never mm-hmm. know so it's really beautiful to see your work and how your channel is uh, you know flowering with so many wonderful people in the community and as you said they know about your journey and you know you're all here to help each other in that sense mm-hmm. thank you so much bhaiya thank you so much and i'll be putting the link to sai baba's devotee speak in the description mm-hmm. box so that all of you can be helped as i was when i needed it his channel became a medium for me to find my sense of peace and it's his blessing uh, all signs blessing all thank you so much nikhil bhaiya all his blessings thank, thank you so much thank. namaste bhaiya sai ram namaste sai